Hi guys, and welcome to a bit of a, a quick update video, really, um, on on the mod that I'm making. So I thought I might as well make one of these videos to because I've just kind of mentioned it before, um, <clears throat> and yeah, I thought it'd be quite interesting to show you guys what goes on in the background to make a mod and that kind of stuff. So it's mainly an overview. You'll be able to see a little bit of it in the game as well. But um, what actually goes uh, in the background and what actually happens to to make a mod and stuff like that. I mean, um, a lot of the stuff that I've learned is from uh, Mr. Crayfish's videos, but I've also kind of picked up bits and bobs from around the internet. Um, forums are pretty good and stuff like that, so yeah. Um, yeah, so as, as a lot of you guys probably do know or don't know, um, you might not. Uh, for the modern stuff, I'm planning on making a mod and moving to a modded world. Um, so moving away from the metadata stuff and putting it into a mod, kind of like what's happened with Conquest. Um, so that's kind of changed in from you know using the metadata in 1.7.10 um, to actually moving across to the Conquest Reforged mod, which just allows you to be so much more creative. And also the 3D models alone are just wicked. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of doing a similar thing for the modern world, but I also want to make it a little bit more generic as well, so that you can you, you don't have to use like Conquest Reforged is like almost specifically Conquest, like it's it. I'm sure somebody could make another texture pack that would work with it, but it's still very, very conquest like that. That's how I feel about it anyway, and it's bloody brilliant at it, but, <laughs> you know, it's, it's almost like very much tailored. Um, so for the kind of like uh, modern stuff, the LD modern um, texture pack, which um, up until recently I was I was kind of like making, it's now taken over by Cerulean Capuchin. Um, with that, uh, obviously that's that we kind of been using that for the modern stuff with metadatas. Um, this mod will kind of replace that or move on to uh, using using modded stuff but yeah um, it's kind of also going to add a lot of extra functionality and a lot of extra stuff that we can do and make it a little bit easier but also you could uh, the idea being that you can like plug for most of the textures you could plug in a texture pack so if I like, uh, like I got flows for 1.10 no it added extra textures but you should still be able to get some stuff so this is the actual preview of the mod anyway um, the mod also, so far, I've added like over a thousand extra blocks. It's quite heavy. Yeah, it's very, very heavy actually, um, in terms of blockage. So you'll get stuff. Like this. I like these. These are like giant flat plant, uh, plant pot type things, which I really like. They're cool, like little custom models. Um, but obviously the leaves don't really work, but you can, yeah, you get those. I like, I really like those. Um, the other stuff I built, oh yeah, a couple extra anvils. They don't act like anvils, so you, when you actually right click them, they're, they're, they're absolutely fine, so you can right click and nothing happens. They also don't fall, because I think it's a lot more useful to have something like this where it doesn't fall. Um, definitely, there's a bin that I've been working on, which at the minute is not finished at all. It's nowhere near it. So, I mean, look at it in the hand here. It's like ginormous. Um, so that's not finished, but... And also it looks terrible down here, so you can, you can kind of tell that that's a test one. Um, it does add in... Pfft, absolutely tons of extra textures uh, one of the things that it does add is pretty much stairs and slabs of every default block so like cyan uh, you know stained st stairs for example um, and I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to keep it with the side textures being te rendered or if for the glass ones I'm going to have them as completely see-through I haven't decided yet it's kind of a bit of a difficult thing because it it looks like you can see like um, how the model split into two because it's like a slab underneath and then it has these like quarter blocks on top uh, that's what's in the model file, so it, it kind of shows those a little bit too too much, I think. Um, yeah, wool and stone clay and everything. You can see, like, here we got some uh, of everything as well, uh, including the magma block. I do quite like the sea lantern stairs. Oh, it always rains in this world. It's the only thing. Um, of course, because it's in capitals, it doesn't like it. I don't know why they've got that. Uh, one of the things that's pretty cool about the about the mod and, and why it's better than metadata, I'm so going to kick this guy in. <laughs> so mean, but still. Uh, yeah, one of the things that's really cool is that with a mod you can add uh, like light levels, for example, to these stairs. So like Sea Lantern will just grab from the Sea Lantern texture, uh, but it will actually emit light. So it, it kind of works as an actual block. Where did I put the exit? There, okay. Uh, same with the slabs and stuff like that. And the glass slabs and stairs um, allow light through. So that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, you can see all the all the slabs that we got here. You see some extra blocks as well, like extra gold slabs and extra copper as well. I've got patina. Patina is basically oxidized copper. It's like this bluish color. Um, I've also added in some extra glowstone slabs, so 
if somebody wanted to come along and actually start texturing for it, they can. But if not, you you still get like your, your your default textures, all of them. Like they go hay bale and um, hardened and grass path and all that kind of crap uh, is all in there, which I think is kind of cool. Adds a lot of it into into here, and then you've got the creative mem uh, menus. These are a couple of other things that I'm going to show you what I've, what I've been doing with them to, to create them. Um, so we've got all of those. Stairs as well. Tons and tons of stairs, as you can see down here. I, I don't know if I've added them all into there. No, I think I have now. I have actually added them all into there. So yeah, you get stuff like grass stairs. Grass, I'm still messing around with it. The top texture, I've actually forced it to be that top texture. Um, grass is a bit weird, actually. It's really weird. Actually, I just really... No, that should have worked, actually. I'll have to have a look at this in particular, I think. Um, added a couple more iron bars. They're not connecting at the minute. I need to fix that. I will do it in a second. Well, not in a second, but later on. Uh, we've got different types of fences. All the different coloured walls are in fences. So that, again, will just work no matter what texture pack you got. It's kind of nice. I like it. And then you can change the models for that if you wanted to with the texture pack. Um, brown is really weird in, in flows. I didn't realise like until like recently. It's got that. So we've got those uh, extra blocks that it adds in that haven't been textured for default stuff is stuff like road stuff, which is, is like to replace the LD Modern Metas. We've got some crates as well, um, concretes and different pavings and metals and different kind of like woods as well, wood planks, some lawn textures. These actually kind of work anyway, like they're, they're pretty nice. So we've got like dark and normal and light and stuff. So they, they actually don't. Don't matter too much. I've done default textures for everything. Uh, lots of different glowstone blocks. Some invisible glowstone. Uh, there is actually invisible glowstone and invisible glass. Uh, the invisible glowstone does give off light. And unlike in the metadata version, uh, you can put it against a block. So it's completely transparent, we'll, but will give off light. It's really, really cool. Um, I might make a couple of those so you can get like different lighting levels um, rather than what it is at the minute, which is set to the same as glowstone. So... That's what it's set to, but um, it can always change. Uh, we've got a couple extra trapdoors. Now, obviously, because we're in 1.10, um, we actually get to use the trapdoors like, in a really cool way. But we've got a couple different coloured ones of those, so I really like these. Uh, just like in general, the, the way that you can float trapdoors is brilliant now. Thank God Mojang gave us that opportunity to do that. So, yeah, there's a little dog's thing or something. I don't know. House thing, um, I think it's brilliant with the, the, the trapdoors, and I've only added a couple in, but I can I'm gonna add more in. Don't know how many more, but we'll see. Uh, even the bookcase, these I quite like as well. What the hell is that? It's red chills. I've never seen it in um, in Conquest, you see, uh, in the Conquest in Flows. Look at that, that looks kind of cool, doesn't it? It kind of works, doesn't it? Anyway, um, yeah, bookcases as well. Again, it's got the top texture, you can change the models for these, but it's just kind of like a little bit different, but um. You can just plug anything. That's the idea. That you can just plug in. God, that's a horrible texture. You can just plug in any any old texture pack, and you'll get um, all your default textures into it. So, uh, but if you want extra ones, you can get extra ones like these extra stuff, and then you can just texture it, which is really easy to do. Um, but yeah, lots and lots of stairs, lots of slabs. Oh, these little CT things. These these actually work even if you um, haven't textured them. So it just grabs the wall texture from the top and oak wood from underneath and um, it, these are little seats so there you go you can see underneath as well it looks kind of cool and they, they do join up together so it's just like a little custom model um, that's pretty good so you can just you know grab like a oh there we go let's grab one of these let's put that on the back of there and put that at the back so you can get like a seat like that not like that let's go right there you go like that so you can get like nice little seats I think they look really cool for, for what they are um, it's just kind of like moving off the metadata stuff, really, and, and just doing stuff. I do need to do the texture for that, because you can do that. So, like, the texture when it blows up is a certain wall. So, I'll just do it as the colour wall that it is. So, I'll, I need to do that and sort that out into the files when it's done. But, yep, yeah, that's all cool. Um, what's the glass slabs as well? They don't... Uh, they actually work, and, and they've got the frame at the minute. I don't know if I'll keep that or not. I'm, I kind of like it. But we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll do another version where it doesn't show it. But we'll see. Um, this lets it light through as well. So um, if you had like a greenhouse made out of this, it would actually be light inside. It, it doesn't make any shadows. So that's kind of cool. Um, the other stuff that's pretty big is the vertical slabs that I'm working on. So I'm working on a couple of vertical slabs. Um, it's, basic, it's based off of the stairs. So you get like wraparounds and stuff. So you can do stuff like this, which is really cool. Um, there is a couple of lighting glitches so far because there just is. Um, I haven't, I haven't like 
got rid of all the bugs yet. Um, and also, <laughs> you can walk up them like stairs. I haven't sorted out the uh, the bounding box that they call it in in mod speak, but that allows you to to do some pretty cool stuff. So I think when I get the lighting glitch fixed and also the bounding box, and it is a, a true vertical slab, and maybe I'll stop it from turning that to dirt as well. I didn't even realize that one. Uh, that's going to be really really cool. It just it just looks cool. Um, and vertical slabs are just awesome. So I'll do I'll do one of each of these. Um, and then you got vertical slabs and everything, so you can do like weird shapes like that. Or uh, it looks really good for going around stuff like this. Um, and also you can do weird shapes. I've just been messing around with it really. Uh, you can do like weird shapes like this, which is some sort of I don't know what this is. Um, I've also made it so that it connects in with stairs. So see what I mean by the weather. Right, so so say for example I put a stair down there, if you connect it across the side, it'll go onto the side bit. If you do it there, it goes to the side bit there. So it's kind of cool in that respect. So there you go. So you can do like weird shapes and stuff. See? How cool is that? And if we link one across there. So it works in I I'm just really interesting to see what people can come up with, with this. It's just gonna be one of those things that we have no clue what to do with it. But I'll I'll fix it so it's not like a stair. Because <laughs> it gets treated like a stair at the minute. <laughs> So yeah, that's really cool. Um, the other thing that I've added in, and I'm probably going to do more of these as we go along, um, is a little lamp. So these lamps work really cool. This is me messing around with um, block states and, and certain using certain parameters in the in actual modding, and, and it was mainly for me to learn how to mod. Um, but you can right-click it to turn it off, and right-click it to turn it on. It actually switches it into a different block, so you get this cyan lamp on, as you can see it's in my hand. If I turn it off and grab it, you can see it's cyan lamp. So there are actually two different different models or, or different blocks. It switches across them. I um, don't know if that's the best way to do it or not, or if there's a better way of doing it. It's probably a better way of doing it. I'll probably, if I learn a better way, then I'll I'll do it that way. So um, I really like them, though. They're little lamps. They just take the coloured wall texture from the top, um, glowstone from the middle, and then quartz from the uh, other bit. But yeah, one of the things that, that, and the reason that it's taking so long, is the creation of JSON files. So if I show you guys this... Uh, wherever it is, Ooh, there we go. Yeah, one of the problems with JSON, uh, with with the moving to 1.10, just for this mod alone, the extra stuff that I've added in, there's 1,688 model block files. If I actually have a look at all the files that I've had to create, and that is block states and models. There we go. Let's do a properties and that, and let it count up. We'll see how many there are currently. Yeah, 3,457 files. That's ridiculous. It's it's so it's so stupid, really, the amount of JSON files. Because most of these, all they're doing is like the same same thing. Like asphalt, it says, like if we open up this file, it says you are a cube. Essentially, is all it's saying, and says here's the texture you get. It's in the DC blocks part of it, and it's asphalt. That's it, really. Um, there's not much more going on with that. Um, so one of the things I've been doing is um, creating a couple bat files. So I I don't know if you guys know. Uh, about five, if I grab it over the right screen. So one of the things you can do is you can actually um, save. Well, this is one that I've actually created to speed things up. Is actually create a bat file that will then put in stuff like the mod name, block name, and half slab. It'll create the the block state file, the slab. Um, like this is a slab one. Um, model block file and and puts that in the the other one as well. Out of stairs. Well, I need to rename that. That's up a slab. <laughs> See, like copy and paste this, because a lot of them are really similar. Um, and also the model model item file. So if I show you guys how this works, um, I've actually oh god, thing, I've actually added in. Let's have a look at bedrock, for example. Bedrock's going to be dead easy. So all I do is these are the variables essentially. Which uh, texture-wise, it's actually, and you have to know the texture name obviously in in default. Um, oh crap, that's well, stupid. What have I done? Anyway, that's fine. Let's hit the keyboard. Um, I know that it's called Blocks Bedrock. Um, you can actually see it inside somewhere. I don't want that. Go away. That's like properly like died. Um, so you can actually find it inside an asset folder. And there we go. There's Bedrock there. Bedrock.png for that default one. Um, weirdly, we actually call it Bedrock. Um, and it's Block Bedrock Half Slab. It'll be. Save that. Close that. And then what we can do is double click that and what it'll do is it'll create all the different files so if I just merge these, close that um, and this is why it takes so long, right, item I can actually put that into the item uh, thing blocks blocks as well, so like block for example, that's for a slab, it's created two files um, 
And I'll show you that this works. <laughs> so there we go. And block states will put that in there. So there we go. It's created four files for one block, which I think is stupid. But if we have a look at this, right, go down here. There we go. It's a bedrock. Uh, it's still got the, the stupid name, but that's what it would look like currently. It doesn't work. But if we do F3 and T, and I don't know what this will do to the recording, it'll probably just. No, actually, it's still recording, which is good. What I had before when I did this is it just stopped recording. So, yeah, it's good. But it takes a while to load through. It basically reloads the texture pack. There we go. And you get your bedrock slab. And that's it. Um, pretty cool. One of the things I have done in the mod, and I'll probably on when you, when you get like a pre-release, uh, it'll have this, is you can't make double slabs yet. The reason being, so you have to kind of like place them up or down. You can't stack them on top of each other. And if you do, it just goes up like that. Um, the reason being that I think that slabs in Minecraft are stupid. Um, for example, if you do double up those, that is not a stone brick. That's that's actually a double stone brick. So Minecraft has gone, these two are the same, but they're not the same, but they're the same. So I'm going to figure out a way in the mod so that when you double stack these, it actually gives you the block, which would be bedrock. Instead... I have to use up a load of IDs, so there's about 200 odd slabs, I think. Yeah, I think I've added about 200 slabs into the game. <laughs> that means 200 blocks of double slabs, which are the same texture as the default one, so I just want to make it so that you do a double slab of like pink wool, and you get a block of pink wool when you put that on top, rather than a slab. I think it's just stupid. Um, so that's why I've kept it as this for now. That's actually stained clay anyway. Ooh. Um, yeah, so that's why it's kind of like a little bit stuck at the minute, or not stuck, but I've just, I've just, I just ignored the behavior because I wasn't going to register like 200 blocks that were already in the game. To me, it's just stupid. So I'll just figure out a way around that. So um, yeah, guys, um, that's the first kind of like look at the mod. Um, yeah, uh, probably what's going to happen is I'm going to get the, well, I'm going to just add everything in that I can, and then uh, I'll, I'll probably do like a, a release where you guys can just play around with it, um, and then give me some feedback. And say, okay, that's cool, but this is bugged. Or can you make this do something like that? Or uh, we really hate that you can see through the glass ones and you can see that line going across. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Can you can you make that go away? Yes, I can. And I'll just edit it in there. Um, or you've forgotten this block in a stair. Can you make it? Uh, so Podzol looks really weird as a stair. Don't, don't know if I like that or not. Let's look at the grass path. Oh, yeah, the grass path one does something really weird. <laughs> It's because the texture doesn't go all the way to the top, so I need to edit that and fix that. So, just this weird glowing thing is so strange, but yeah. Um, but anyway, guys, um, that's a little bit of a preview just to show you what I've been up to with the mod and where we're at. Um, about a thousand blocks so far. Uh, will we be adding more? Yeah, we'll be adding more, especially stuff like this. I love this because it makes such a cool pillar. How cool is that? Yeah, that is cool. I think it's cool anyway. I, I think that's going to be a really cool, fun block. Giant plant pot. Um, but yep, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. A little bit of a preview. Uh, if you did, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.